Welcome to Fabulosity for You, and my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button, then click on the notification bell, so when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video and make a comment, and share this video. This channel is about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And if this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens and kings. So, today is Friday, and I've been waiting all week to talk to my kings and queens out there. I am so glad today is Friday. I hope everybody had a blessed week. I hope everybody was productive. I hope everybody conquered whatever they were trying to conquer this week, okay? And so now it's Friday. We can relax. So go get your drink of choice. Go get your, your snack because Angie is on the line right now and I have a good topic. But before I get into the topic, I just want to say, it's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. Okay, so um, you see I'm hyped, okay? And I'm hyped because tomorrow I'm giving away that $50 to somebody, okay? So good luck again to all of you. So before I begin, I just want to say today has been a Burberry day, honey. I have my Burberry shirt and I just have on a pair of j distressed jean shorts. I have my Burberry slides on. And it's just been a Burberry day, okay? I have my little jewelry on from Tiffany's. And Angie threw a scarf on her head, okay? Because it was like really hot and all of the things. And I didn't feel like really doing much to my hair. And so I threw a scarf on. I told you. I will throw a slap a scarf on my hair real quick. But I'm still jazzy. I got all dressed up. Well, I'm not dressed up, but fly. I got all fly for my kings and my queens out there, okay? So, for those of you that are new to my channel, uh, on Friday nights, it's relationship night. And I like to get fly for my kings and queens out there. And so, I also like to wear a pair of shades. Now, I didn't wear them the last two weeks because my closet, I've been trying to get it together for the summer. It's almost there. Okay, I have I have a big storage area downstairs and I each each everything in my closet is uh for each seat for just one season. And so it's always a really big deal changing out clothes in my closet, okay? And I happen to have like these are two closets and I have another room of a closet and I have two more closets and then I have a storage area. Okay. That's just too many clothes for one person. But every year I try to clean out my closet. What I don't want, I usually give it away <laughs> to charity. So I'm not ready to start that big chore, but I'm getting there. So anyway, my glasses of choice, you know it. It's Burberry, baby. It's Burberry. It's a Burberry day. A Burberry day. So these are the Burberry glasses. I've had them for like forever, okay? And these are the glasses tonight. And for those of you that are here with me for the first time, I always like to wear shade because I throw shade, okay? So tonight, we're going to be talking about how to rebuild trust when trust was broken. How to rebuild broken trust is what we're going to be discussing today. And this is a part two. So if you didn't see part one on how to trust in a relationship, please go back and watch that video. It is a great video. And so I told everyone last week, I'm going to continue with part two on how to rebuild trust when it has been broken. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So, get on the line. Call your friends up. Call your family up. 
email, text, tell everybody, send a message in a bottle, baby, and tell everybody Angie Fabulosity is on the line, and this is going to be a good topic, okay? So, I'm just going to get right into it. If you see me look down, yes, I'm reading because I jotted some things down so I would not forget. Okay, so tonight I'm going to t give you five tips on the person for the person that has broken someone's trust. And then I'm going to give you five tips for the person that, well, for someone that broken, that the trust was broken. Okay, so I'm going to say that again. I'm going to give five tips for the person that had broken trust, someone's trust. And then I'm going to give five tips to someone that trust was broken. All right, I got it right. Okay, so number one for the five tips of the person that had broken someone's trust. Now, when you say broken trust, that can mean a lot of different things. The big broken trust is having an affair. That will be a big broken trust. Or you had a fight with your partner and they hit below the belt and said some ugly things to you. That is also broken trust. Because... You wouldn't expect your, your partner to say something ugly, to say something that will make you feel bad, okay? And then you also have broken trust when you tell your partner something in that's very confidential and then you find out later that they had told somebody. That will break your trust. So we're going to get right into it. Tip number one, you can have a one-sided conversation. Okay. So what that means is if you've broken somebody's trust, then you need to listen. Don't sit up and, and try to defend yourself and justify when you was wrong. You need to listen to your mate to see why they're hurt, to understand how they're feeling. Number two, apologize without hesitating. Don't have someone have to pull an apology from you. No, you should apologize right away and give a heartfelt apology. Mean what you're saying. Show emotions when you're giving an apology. Number three, take time to process what your mate has said to you, but promise to come back. So sometimes people get all in their feelings when people are telling you how they feel and, and giving you some negative feedback, giving you some criticism. Or, you know, telling you what they, how they are hurt. And sometimes the conversation get too deep and you get into your feelings and then don't want to talk no more. And that's not a good way to react. It's okay to say, listen, I'm hearing what you're saying. I just need to step away for a minute and just process what you just said to me. And then I'm coming back. So make sure you come back to this conversation because that's the only way things are going to be addressed is if, and solved and resolved is if you're having a conversation. Number four, what happens in this conversation stays in this conversation. And we got a lot of people out there that if they still had their parents around, she telling mama what happened and what was said and he telling his mama or they telling their friends. No, 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 no. When you guys are having your conversation, let it stay between you two. 
That's how you're going to rebuild trust. If if somebody, if one, if, if, if one of you guys feel like you can't trust them to speak your mind, to tell your feelings, to be vulnerable, then it's not going to happen. And number five, tell the whole truth. Don't be telling just part of the truth or making stuff up because that person, your mate, is going to know that you you jabbing them. You BSing. You not being real. And you nobody's going to rebuild their trust back into you if they can't even believe that you're telling them the truth. So make sure you tell the whole truth. Okay, so those were the five tips. And so the next tip, as I said, is for someone who had broken trust. And so I'm going to give you your five tips. Because even though you are the one that somebody broke your trust, you still have responsibilities too. And number one, you're going to reinforce the behavior that you want. So if your mate is, is you know, they doing their best, they, they putting effort in, don't be just, yeah, uh-huh, but that's what you should be doing. No, 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 no. You want to encourage and say, you know what, I appreciate you listening to me, or you know what, I appreciate your honesty. Encourage the behavior, reinforce the behavior that you want to see, and that will make that person want to continue to work on things, to do better, and do the things that's going to build your trust back. Number two, don't give up. When that, when things are falling and just don't give up, if they're failing, don't give up because it takes time to rebuild trust. And just because everything is not back the way it is, or that person still, you know, made a mistake, don't mean that you have to give up. No, understand it takes time to rebuild that trust. Number three. Tell that your mate the role you want them to play. So if you feel like you need that person to listen, your partner to listen to you more, then you need to let them know, listen, I need you to listen to me. Listen, because you don't never listen. Or if you need them to show more vulnerability to you, show themselves more to you, let them know what you need the role they need to play for you. Number four, start with small things. And what that means is, if you feel like, you know what, I can't just jump back in and act like everything is okay. I can't do that. No, you can't. Sometimes when trust is, is broken, it's hard to come back from that. So just start with the small things. You don't have to jump in with two feet. Start with the small things, but the key word is to start. Number five, leave the past behind you. There's so many couples, they say they worked it out, but then anytime there's a rough spot that happens in your patch, that happens in your relationship, then you do. Well, you, you know you did. You know you had cheated on me. Oh, I'm supposed to believe that when you cheated on me? Oh, you say you're going to the store. Really? Are you really going to the store? You know, you don't want that because that's not, if you continue to throw up the past, you guys are not going to move forward. And that's one of the biggest things that people don't do. Leave the past in the past. And so my queens and my kings and queens out there, those are the five tips for each that I have given you. And so just like last week, I said I was going to get the men's point of view on do you trust your 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 woman? And do you trust your woman and about trust? Why do you trust your woman? And so last Saturday, I was able to get a little conversation. I was at a party and it was all couples and, and 
friends and so we just was able to have conversation i also just have just conversations between men and women you know um a couple just couples just having conversations which i think is interesting so stay tuned and watch this and we'll be back okay guys so we're gonna do part two of trust and so I said next time I'm going to bring them in. And so we have some men in here today. And first, we're going to start with Chris. And the question that I'm going to ask you is, do you trust your mate and why? Do I trust my mate and why? I trust my mate to do whatever she's wanting to do. She's a woman. I'm a man. We have each other's heart. That's great. Mm. So you trust her because you, you have each other's heart. Mm -hmm. All right. Good yeah. answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here to Eric. Yes. He's married to, and I didn't get a chance to ask her, so I'm going to ask Johnny Styles. Johnny has a uh, YouTube channel as well. Johnny Styles does fashion and vlogs. And so I'm going to start with her husband, Eric, and then we're yes. going to go to Johnny's because I didn't get her last week. Okay. Do you trust your spouse and why? Do I trust my spouse? Uh, yes, I do. My spouse and I are soulmates. So I have no problem. I don't have any doubts that this young lady loves me and she does not cheat on me, nor do I cheat on her. We love each other. And uh, we like Velcro. We stuck We stuck for the rest of our lives. So we together all the time. I don't think she'll have any, any time to cheat on me. Because <laughs> I'm always there. She's always with me. That's, how, that's the way it is. So yeah, I trust her with all my heart. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, yes. So now we're going to go to Johnny Styles. <laughs> You said what? And I trust Eric for some of the same reasons. I trust him because I know that he has my best interests at heart. And I just trust his heart. He trusts my heart. And I just think that that trust that we have for each other, just it just it's just there. So I trust him. He trusts me. And yes, the question, the answer is I do trust him. And that's great. And that's what I try to tell people. You, you want somebody that's going to take care of your heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's very important. So we're going to go over here um, to Dwayne. And you talk to me about what you think about trust in a relationship. Well, first of all, in a relationship, trust itself is a big T word. Until you have the, that journey, until you really fall in love, because love actually is to build a foundation with your person you with. And once that foundation is built, you can go anywhere in the world and know that the trust is there. You don't have to even worry or question what that person is doing. Only thing you need to do is say in your heart that you're grateful to have who you got. You know what you got, but you don't know what you're going to get. Good night. All right, all right. Thank you to the men. We got we we have Chris now. Okay, big. You ready? Yes. Whatever you did, and I'm talking to the men. Whatever you did to woo that woman, you have to continue to do it for the rest of your life. That's a good. That's a good. Good message. Good message. Whatever you did, Chris is saying, whatever you did to gain your woman, you have to continue. If you give her flowers in the beginning, if you open the door to the car and close it, continue to do it because that's what she's going to continue to expect. All right. All right. All right. Great. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. It was real interesting just listening to, to couples and talking about asking the men, do they believe in, do they trust a woman? It was just a fun time Saturday and I thought it was great conversation. 
And so I just added it to the clip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And so that's going to end this video. My kings and queens out there, stay in peace and not in pieces.